Thanks, I got donuts. Oh, thanks, baby. Um, mom and water donuts. They're good, Jeffy. Well, of course you would say nuts are good. You're a girl. Well, Jeffy, don't say that. They have nothing to do with nuts. Then why are they called donuts? What? I don't know. Are they made out of nuts? No. Are they made out of dough? Yeah, like 100% dough. Okay, so then where did the nuts come in at? Did the chef rub his nuts all over them? Jeffy, don't say that. No, no one rubbed their nuts on them. Well, do they look like a nut sack? No. Well, then show me. Baby, show them. Okay, Jeffy, look. Look, 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 look what they look like. Danny, that looks nothing like a nut sack. See, I told you, it has nothing to do with nut sacks. It's, it's just dough. Look, look, call them dough circles. Well, I think they look like big Cheerios. But that's what they are. They're really big Cheerios, and they're really good. You should have some. Oh, okay, Danny, I'm going to give me a Big Cheerio. Which one do I want? Um, Danny, why is this Big Cheerio gold? What? Baby, did you order a golden donut? No, I don't know how that got in there. Why did we get a golden donut? Look, Marvin, let's watch TV. Hey there. Do you like donuts? If you do, go buy a box of donuts. And if you find the golden donut, you'll win a lifetime supply of free donuts. Go buy them now. Wow, we really just want a lifetime supply of donuts. We're going to get so fat, Marvin. Um, actually, I won the lifetime supply of donuts because I found the golden donut. But I bought them, Jeffy. But baby, don't argue. Look, we're not going to claim that prize because that's so unhealthy. We don't need a lifetime supply of donuts. You're right, Marvin. Well, then can I go claim the prize? No, Jeffy. Jeffy, we don't need a lifetime supply of donuts. That's so unhealthy. <sighs> oh, man, Danny. All right, well, if you need me, I'll be in my room just eating these donuts and not going to go claim the prize for a lifetime supply of donuts and become the donut king or anything. Yep, do if you need me. I'll be in my room, Danny. Okay, Jeffy. Hear ye, hear ye. I am the ruler of the donuts. I am the Donut King. Whoa, Jeffy, how'd you get so many donuts? Well, Junior, I found this golden donut, and I want a lifetime supply of donuts, and now every time I want some, they send me hundreds of them, because I'm the Donut King. Well, can I get a donut? No, Junior, I'm sorry, but if I give one to you, I'll have to give one to all the peasants. Oh, you, you just have hundreds of them, so I thought I could probably have one. Hmm. Well, how about this, Junior? If you want a donut from the King, something amazing you must bring. To trade. What, to trade? Yeah, you gotta trade me something cool for a donut. Uh, well, can I just give you money? No, I don't want money, Junior. I want something cool. Uh, what can I trade you for a donut? Um, ooh, I know, I got something. How about this? It's a megaphone. It makes you talk really loud. Give me shit. Beep. All right, Junior, you got yourself a trade. You may pick out one donut. Yay, I get a donut! This thing is so pee -pee. Uh... I feel so sick from eating donuts. I ate way too many donuts. See, that's exactly why we weren't going to claim the lifetime of supply of donuts, because they just make you feel so awful after you eat them. Ugh. Look, Marvin, the news! Uh. Breaking news, okay? There's a worldwide donut shortage ever since this kid won a lifetime supply of donuts and requested that all of them be brought to his donut kingdom. <gasps> he didn't. Jeffy, we told you not to claim those donuts. Jeffy! Yes, father? We told you not to claim those donuts. Bow to the king. What? Bow to the king. I'm not bowing to you. Bow king. No, Jeffy. Marvin, maybe we should just bow and get it over with. I'm not bowing to him. Danny, your shoe's untied. Thanks for bowing to the king. Well, I didn't bow to you. Mommy, your toes are untied. What? Wait, don't, don't. Thanks for bowing to the king. Oh, we did not bow to you, Jeffy. Look, we're getting rid of all these donuts. Danny, we can't get rid of my donuts because I'm the donut king and this is my donut kingdom. Jeffy, I told you not to claim those donuts. Danny, you don't get a lifetime supply of donuts and not claim them. Well, look, Jeffy, look, we're going to get rid of all these donuts right now, okay? Please leave the kingdom. I'm not, I'm not leaving. There's not a kingdom. Guard! Yes, my liege. I requested that they leave the donut kingdom, and they're not leaving. Leave the donut kingdom. It's not a kingdom, it's a bed full of donuts in my house. The king wants you to leave. He's not even a king, that's a Burger King crown. Look, leave or you'll be sorry. What are you gonna do about it, dolphin boy? Okay, that's racist, and if you don't leave, I'm gonna give you a tail whooping. A, a, a dolphin tail whooping. I'm gonna whoop you with my tail is what I'm saying. <sighs> Baby, let's just get out of here. They're a bunch of bullies! Oh, look, look, look at that on the TV, Karen. There's a donut shortage, huh? How about that? No, Brady, I don't Great. I'm carrying my phone's ringing. No, buddy, you gotta cuddle with me! It's cuddle time! It's cuddle time, it's answer the phone time, Karen! Get, get off of me, get to answer the phone. Hello? Wait, wait really? What? The chief? What? Oh my god. Okay, I'll be right over. Buddy, what's going on? It's the chief. He's dying. Oh no! Chief! Chief, what's going on? 
I'm dying, guy. No, 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 don't, don't, don't say that. What's wrong? Wrong right here. Oh, Dr. Something Wong. What is wrong? Wong a girl. No, no, I mean, what's wrong with him? Oh, he dying. He dying real fast. He donut blood sugar be going and crash. He need donut. He need donut right now. Really, sir? You need a donut? Yeah, guy. Whenever you become the chief of police, you have to have a donut every 24 hours or else you die. Oh, no. But, but, chief, the donuts are sold out all over the world. Ever since that damn kid had to go and win that stupid contest. Well, guy, it looks like I'm gonna die then. Tell my wife I was cheating on her. No, no, sir. You're gonna tell her that yourself because you're gonna make it. You, you really think so, guy? I know so, sir. I'm gonna get a donut. Well, you better hurry because the heart rate monitor video only four minutes long. Uh, okay, okay, I'm gonna hurry right now. I'll go. Hurry up, damn it. Marvin. What? Ever since Jeffy kicked you out of Donut Kingdom, you've been angrily eating those baked beans. Yeah, I like baked beans. When I'm stressed out, I eat baked beans. It's my new thing. Every character has a thing. My new thing is baked beans. It's a little weird. No, every character has a favorite food. Like, you know, like Woody, like shrimp, and Shrek, like cheesecake. I, I like baked beans. That, that's my thing now. Oh, there's someone at the door. Hold on. Uh, hello. Oh, hey, 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 is your son who won all the donuts here? Yeah, he's upstairs in his donut kingdom. His what? His donut kingdom. Ever since he won all those donuts, he made a kingdom in his room. Uh, okay, well, I really, really need one of those donuts. Well, so does everyone in the world. They made a line outside his room. What? Really? Yeah, there's a line. So if you want a donut, just go join the line. Okay. Oh, come on, this line is ridiculous! I know, tell me about it. I've been here for 45 minutes. But 45 minutes?! What? Hey, 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 Pooby. Hey, Pooby, let me skip you. Wait, no! Come on! Okay. Hey, hey, Logan. Logan, let, let me get in front of you. No! Oh, come on. Okay, okay, I can see why the movie never came out. Yeah, you guys were too busy waiting in line for donuts. Wait, is that Elena? El Elena! Can I get in front of you? No! Uh, the SML crew sucks! I'm disliking all your videos. Hey, hey, Pooby, how's your bum arm? Oh, ha, ha! Okay, this sucks. I'm gonna go talk to the guard. I've been in line for 30 minutes. What's taking so long? Sorry, ma'am. The Donut King is very busy. You'll just have to be patient. <sighs> okay. Coming through. Sorry, sorry. Oh, hey, no me. skipping. Oh, come on. You play like one character. Uh, I play two characters. I play your wife, Blighty. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Don't even start. Hey, man, no skipping. Oh, come on. Come on. I'm a cop. I'm, I'm an officer of the law. Don't you have like a donut line skip pass? No, no. You'll just have to wait in line like everybody else. What? Hey, what's that? Where? Nice try. All right, send the next one in. All right, next. Oh, me, 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 me. Hey! I said next. Hey, hey, I'm here, I'm here. I was next. Just don't ask anybody else. Okay, can I have a donut now? Bow to the king. What? what? Bow to the king. Oh, oh, yes, 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 your highness. Anything for a donut. Oh, okay, can I have one? If you want a donut from the king, something amazing you must bring. To trade. What, to trade? Yeah, you gotta trade me something for, for a donut. Well, okay, I have cash. Can I just give you that? No, I want something cool for a donut. Well, oh, okay, I, look, look, man, I have a 20. How about I just give you a 20? No, you gotta trade me something cool. See, I got, like, this pocket bowling game. I got this megaphone. I got a flashlight and a stapler. You gotta trade me something cool if you want a donut. Okay, so just, like, junk? No, something cool. I don't... Okay, okay, look, man. My boss is dying, okay? And he, he if he doesn't get a donut, he's gonna die, all right? So I really need... Bird! Do you not have a heart? Bored. What? I don't know what to get. Uh, you can have my hat. Do you want my hat? I'll give you my hat. No, I already have a crown that says Burger King. What? Okay, well, maybe my tie? I'll give you my whole outfit. No, you gotta trade me something or else leave the kingdom. Well, I don't have anything to trade. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't know what to get. Just give me a damn donut. Leave the kingdom. What? No, no, I need... Leave the kingdom. No, I'm gonna take a donut. Guard! Oh, oh, don't call him. He's Guard! already... Guard! Hey, what's up, your highness? Kick him out of the kingdom. Oh, good. He skipped in line anyway. Oh, oh, come on. Come on. And stay out. I don't want to see your face in the Donut Kingdom ever again. Well, well fine. I, I don't want to be in this stupid Donut Kingdom anyway. It's stupid and dumb. I, I do really need a donut, though. Where am I going to get one? Oh, oh, Karen. She's not banned. Yeah, I'll just get her. Okay, okay, Karen. Here, take this. Go, go. Boy, well, I don't understand what you're trying to get me to do here. It's very simple, Karen. I just needed to take this Dig Dug machine into the Donut Kingdom and give it to the Donut King in exchange for a donut. But, Boyney, I don't understand why you don't just go to the store to get a donut! What, Karen, don't you think if it was that simple, I would have done it already? They're sold out everywhere. Haven't you seen the news? Boyney, I'm sorry that I'm not as obsessed with donuts as you are. I'm not obsessed with donuts, Karen. Hey, kitty. Oh, it's a Kit Kat! Oh, 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 oh. Boyney, this is crazy! Well, it's not crazy, Karen. Just go talk to the dolphin. Boyney, do you understand how ridiculous the 
this sounds. Listen to what you're telling me to do. <gasps> you need me to talk to a dolphin to get to the donut kingdom to trade the dig dug machine for a donut from the donut king to get to the doctor to give you a dying boss on his deathbed. Yes. Can you do it? Okay, Boiny, but this just sounds crazy. Okay, here, take it, go. Oh, why is she taking so long? Hey, Boiny, I got your donut. Oh, Karen, you got the donut. Wait, wait, why is there a bite taken out of it? Oh, I got hungry on the way out. Oh, Karen, I get, okay, I guess it doesn't matter. It's fine, but wait, wait where's your dress? Oh, uh, I really wanted to keep the ding dong machine, Boiny. <laughs> Good choice. All right, Karen, you got the donut. I can save my boss. He better hurry. Chief, Chief, I got the donut. Ah, oh, you're too late. He died. No! Alright, hold on. Let me just restart the video. Guy, <gasps> uh, chief, chief, quick, eat the donut. Oh, guy, you saved my life. I'd do anything for you, sir. Ew! All right, Daddy. I gave away all my donuts. What, you gave away all your donuts? I sure did. So the donut kingdom is no more. What, what'd you trade for all your donuts? Well, someone traded me a Ferrari for all my donuts. A Ferrari for all your donuts? Yep. Well, you know what? I I'm glad. You don't need that many donuts anyway. Those are unhealthy. You need to eat something healthy like baked beans. Ew. What? Baby! Look what I just found! I found the golden baked bean! You know what that means? Baked beans for the rest of my life! Oh no! All hail the baked bean king! Who wants to trade me a Ferrari for all my baked beans? No. Hey, Junior. Sorry we're late to the Happy Meal party. Oh, dude, I'm so sorry I'm late. It was so much traffic, and I had to steal my Happy Meal from the drive-thru. It's fine. Wait, Junior, you started eating without us? Yeah, I was hungry. Wait, what's wrong with your chicken nuggets? There's nothing wrong with them. Well, they have little red dots all over them. Oh, I thought that meant they were spicy. No, I don't think that's what that means. I wouldn't eat those. Yeah, me either, dude. They don't look good. Well, well, well maybe maybe all those red dots are just a bunch of snipers pointing their sniper rifles at them. But Junior, that's an even better reason not to eat them. Hey, Joseph, these chicken nuggets look like Cody's face. <laughs> True, dude. All the little red dots are all the pimples on Cody's face. <laughs> He's such a nerd. Okay, screw you guys. I'm just going to eat my Happy Meal. Yeah, just eat it. See, Junior, this is what normal chicken nuggets are supposed to look like. Well, Cody, look at my face. This is what a normal face is supposed to look like. Not covered in pimples. <laughs> okay, fine. Just enjoy your weird chicken nuggets then. Okay, I will. Oh, dude, they forgot the toy. No, they didn't. No, they did not. I can't believe this. Screw them. But they got the apple slices, though. Well, we can't play with apple slices. Oh, yes, you can, dude. Look, it's a mustache. I'm a detective. That's so funny. <laughs> Junior, Junior, what's wrong with you? What? There's nothing wrong with me. Whoa, dude. You have little red dots all over you. Oh, the snipers are pointing at me. Ah, you can't. No, jo Joseph, don't touch him. He might be contagious. Well, what, are you, what, what are you guys talking about? Go look in the mirror. Okay, what are they talking about? <gasps> ah! I look like Cody! Ah! Guys, 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 I look like Cody. What, gay? What, no, not that. I have all these pimples on my face, like Cody does. Junior, those aren't pimples. These are pimples. Well, at least he finally admitted he was a pimple-faced freak. Yeah, the first step is admitting it. Uh -huh. Guys, I know I have acne. You don't have to point it out all the time. Admit you're ugly. No. Now he doesn't admit it? I know. What, what's his problem? But anyway, guys, what do you think I have? Like, What do you think this is? Well, you did eat a chicken nugget that had red dots on it, so it probably came from that. What do, you, what do you think it's called? Uh, I don't know, but it probably has the word chicken in it. Like, chicken dots. Yeah, that sounds right. You think I have chicken dots? Yeah. Okay, well, we have to call a doctor. Can, can you call a doctor? Yeah, I will, but I don't want to get chicken dots, so I'm going to go home. What? Well, you're going to stay here, right? Yeah, dude, I don't care about getting chicken dots. Okay, so until the doctor gets here, let's play with your apple slice. Uh, look, it looks like a boat. What's with you people in boats, huh? Is there something you want to tell me? Hey there, somebody call a doctor. Whoa, what is wrong with your skin? Stay away from me. Wow, you never seen a black person before? Oh, no, 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 no. I, I was talking to him. So much racism in this room right now. No, 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 no. I, I was talking to him because he has red dots on him. You know what? I'll let it slide this time. Whew, I was close. I almost lost my job. So what's going on? Well, I have all these red dots all over me. Oh, yeah, you look just like my scrotum in college. Well, what do you think it is? Well, if you're anything like me, you got it from a fat girl named Gabby. Do you know Gabby? What? No. No, well, you probably don't have what I had then. Wait, did you eat these polka dot chicken nuggets? Well, yeah, I did. Well, that's probably where it came from. These chicken nuggets are clearly contaminated. They what? put out a health warning. Didn't you hear about that? Well, they're contaminated with what? Well, they're contaminated with chicken pox. Yeah, they're saying that if you buy the chicken nuggets at, at McDonald's with the chicken pox, you... I don't fucking know. I'm going to have one of these chicken nuggets. That's good. That's my lunch break. So what would you suggest I do? I would suggest you stay away from people 
And uh, don't hook up with fat girls named Gabby. I'm gonna take these. I'm glad that racist doctor's gone. Well, Joseph, he said to stay away from people. <coughs> so I don't wanna... <coughs> I don't wanna get you sick. Oh, you're right, dude. I'm gonna go home. Oh, dude, I forgot my Happy Meal. Wait, you're still eating those nuggets? Well, I'm already sick, so what's the worst that could happen? Uh, I guess you're right. Wait, wait, Ken's still here? <gasps> Cody must have left Ken here. <gasps> we should prank Cody. We should get a red Sharpie and put red dots all over Ken, and he'll think Ken got the chicken pox. Oh, dude, that would be hilarious. Go get a red Sharpie. Okay. All right, I got the Sharpie, dude. What? That's the wrong color, Joseph. What? The wrong color? So you're saying it's wrong to be brown? What? No, 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 no. I just said get a, get a red Sharpie because he needs red dots because it's chicken pox. <laughs> I'm just testing you, dude. Uh, okay. All right, dude. Here's the red Sharpie. Oh, man. This is going to be so funny because Cody's going to think he has chicken pox. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to start putting dots all over. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> and done. Oh, dude. He looks like he has the chicken pox. I'm going to call Cody and tell him he forgot Ken. Oh, dude. This is going to be so funny. Yeah. All right, Joseph. It's ringing. Jello. Hey, Cody. Uh, you left Ken here. No, I didn't. He's right. Oh, oh my God. I left Ken there. Yeah, he's uh, he's been sitting next to me, and he's been like flirting with me, and he tried to come on to me. What? No, no. Ken, Ken wouldn't do that. He he said we'd wait until we could do it together. What? What? I'm on my way. Okay. Oh, he's coming over, Joseph. Okay. Yeah. Okay, guys. I'm here. You didn't start without me, did you? Cody, why don't you have a shirt on? Well, I thought we were all three gonna finally do this. Do what? Well, you said Ken was flirting with you, so I thought we were gonna, d you know. So I took a shower. That's why my hair's still wet. Um, oh no, Cody! Uh, what's all these red bumps on Ken? Well, Ken, what happened? You didn't eat cheese, did you? You know you're allergic to cheese. He gets like this when he eats cheese. Oh, Ken, I'm gonna have to punish you for eating all that cheese, you dirty little mouse. I'm gonna have to spank your little mouse ass, and I may never stop. Somebody's gonna have to send me a cease and desist letter. Turn around, guys. This is gonna get graphic. Uh, uh, uh Cody, I, I think he might just have the chicken pox. What, chicken pox? Is that what you have? Yeah, the doctor said I have chicken pox, and now Ken has it. Well, why would Ken have chicken pox? Unless, oh my god, you've been making out with Ken! Well, no I haven't! Did Junior explain why Ken's over here when I left him over here? Well, I, I picked him up and put him right here. And then you kissed him! Well, no I didn't! Alright, Junior, that's it, we're gonna fight. Well, I don't wanna fight you, Cody. No, I'm gonna fight you, Junior, nobody kisses my boyfriend! Well, I don't wanna fight, Cody. Why not? Are you chicken? Oh my god, Junior, you actually are a chicken! Dude, what's happening? I think eating the chicken nuggets turned him into a chicken. Ken. I, I said stop it. Okay, that's it. You want a cockfight, huh? Well, I'm gonna whip it out. You're, you're lucky my zipper's stuck. Ow, 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 stop pegging me. Ow, ow. Oh! ow, okay, okay, you win. I'm, I'm gonna call a doctor. Hey there, this is the second time I've come today. Oh, you, you're just a whole chicken now. What are we gonna do? Uh, well, at least we can confirm he didn't get this from Gabby. But the good news is I have a cure for this. You do? Yeah, I can give him this shot of Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. It'll turn him back into a human and also make him age backwards. But, you know, it'll fix it. Well, give it to him then. Okay, come here, you. Hold still, hold still. C could you hold him down? I need to get the shot in there. Uh, okay. <coughs> you do? All right, that should do it. So when will he be back to normal, doctor? Nah, just give him a few minutes. Doctor, doctor, can you turn my boyfriend back to normal too? It's just a doll, kid. He's not a doll, doctor. I told you he was a stupid doll, Cody. He's not a doll, doctor. Yes, he is, dude. <laughs> Whoa, dude, you're back to normal. Sort of. Oh, guys, what happened? Well, you turned into a chicken for a while. But don't think I forget about how we were going to fight. We're going to fight right now. Well, Cody, I don't want to fight you. Ken did not cheat on you. Oh, yeah? Prove it. Prove we did cheat. The dots? Oh, oh, come on, Cody. This is what happened. We wanted to pull a prank on you, so we took a red Sharpie and we put red dots on them, so that's what happened. Nope, not buying it, Junior. That did not happen. It did happen. Joseph, tell him about the Sharpie. Oh, tell him how the brown Sharpie wasn't good enough for you? Oh, I remember that. Oh, no, 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 no. Tell him what the other thing. No, don't deny your past, dude. Uh, look, Cody, what can I do to prove it? Um, get a girlfriend. Get a girlfriend? Well, yeah, if you get a girlfriend, that'll prove that you're not even interested in Ken, so get a girlfriend. I'm not interested in Ken. How am I gonna get a girlfriend tonight? Well, you like that Penelope girl, right? Yeah. Well, well, just call her, tell her to come over here, and then kiss her in front of me so I know that you don't like Ken. What? She's not gonna... Okay, fine. I'll call her, Cody. Okay, Cody, it's ringing. Why are you calling me, Junior? You wanna make out? Ew, no, Junior! Why? Because, ew! Look, me and Cody are fighting, and I need you to kiss me. Wait, Cody's there? Yeah. Well, I guess I could possibly maybe come over. Tell her I'm not here. But she already knows you're here. Tell her anyway. <sighs> Cody's not here. Why would you just lie to me like that, Junior? I don't know. Ugh, just don't lie to me like that ever again! Okay, I promise, I won't lie. No, tell her I'm here. Do uh, it. Co Cody's actually here. What? Look, 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 can you just come over and kiss me? Ew, no! What if I give you $10? Uh, no, Junior. 20 Hmm. 
Make it an even $30. I don't have... Okay, fine. I'll do $30. Okay, deal. But only a peck. Okay, fine. Just come over. Okay. All right, Cody. She's coming over. Good. Oh, that's her. Oh, okay, wait, uh, wait. She's not going to kiss me if I have chicken pox. That's not my problem. I'll just, I'll just put Band-Aid all over it. Uh, hello? Where's my $30? Oh my god, Junior! What happened to you? I fell off my skateboard into a glass window that shattered into like a million pieces. And there's also a wasp nest, so I got stung. Oh my god, you poor thing! So now you feel bad for charging me money to kiss? Kinda. Um, I'll kiss you right now. Uh, well, it can't be right here. It has to be upstairs. Wait, why? It just, that, that's where I want to do it. So come on. Ugh! Cody, hide! Why? Hide! Okay. Where's my $30? It's right here. Why is Cody hiding behind the McDonald's box? Hey, Penelope. What, look, your $30 right here. Junior, that's $3! I thought that's what we agreed on. No! Ah! I did it, Cody. What a shit show. I still want to fight. Wait, what? I kissed the girl. I proved I'm, I, I don't want Ken. Yeah, I know. I'm just kind of still in the mood to fight. So let's fight. Come on, let's do it. Oh, okay. Well, well can we fight in the kitchen? Why? Because Chef Baby needs to be a referee, like, you know, to make sure that no one, like, like, we don't bite each other or, or break each other's bones. All right, fine, whatever. Let's go fight in the kitchen. Chef Baby, Chef Baby! Junior, your dinner's right here. Cheese balls. Yes, I don't feel like cooking tonight. Wait, why do you have those band aids all over your face? You're wasting them. I'm not wasting them. You don't have that many boo boos, Junior. I have this many boo boos. He's about to have a lot more boo boos when we fight. Wait, Cody, why do you have your shirt off? You're looking so damn sexy. Damn. Thank you. Me and Junior are gonna fight. Oh, wait, we really fight? Oh, I need a front row seat to this. Where's my cheese balls? What? No, no, Chef Baby's worth to protect me. Cody, I don't want to fight. Well, too bad. We're fighting. <clears throat> what? No, what? <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Where'd you go, Junior? Where oh my god, he turned into an egg! What happened? Why did he turn into an egg? Well, the doctor gave him a shot to turn him back into a human from being a chicken, but it must have also turned him into an egg. I guess we know which one came first, huh? Well, I'm still gonna beat you up! <clears throat> That's for making out with my boyfriend! I could've made breakfast with that! God! Come on, Ken, we're going home. Your punishment's next, you little mouse boy. Dude, where's Junior? Let's just say he got scrambled. <laughs> oh man, I can't wait to watch the Miami Heat win tonight. Go Heat! But boy, the off they down three to one. Well, yes, but that's because Jimmy Butler wants a challenge. You see, because the only team to come back from a 3-1 to one deficit was LeBron James, and Jimmy Butler wants to outdo him. But, Boyney, what would happen if they were to lose? They're not going to lose, Karen. You know why? Because you can't spell heat without eat, which is what Jimmy Butler's going to do to those nuggets, just like I'm going to do to these nuggets. I'm going to eat them up. Nom, 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 nom. Those nuggets suck. Well, not these nuggets. These nuggets are delicious. I mean, the Denver nuggets suck. Hey, Karen, guess what? It's Grimace's birthday today. What? You know, Grimace, Ronald McDonald's friend, today's his birthday. Oh! Yeah, it's his birthday, and you know what he wanted for his birthday? For the heat to win! I don't believe you, Boyney. I think you're lying. No, no, I'm not lying, because me and Grimace are friends. We talk all the time. As a matter of fact, that's why he gave me his birthday shake. Oh, I want one! No, because you doubted the heat. Because we are going to win tonight because of Jimmy Buckets. He's going to make us win. He's going to beat those nuggets. Watch, he's going to eat them up. Nom, 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 nom. Hey, Boyney, who won your game? <gasps> why are you so sad, Boyney? Aw, oh, you didn't finish your chicken nuggets? Did they hurt your belly? Well, who won your basketball game, Boyney? The nuggets. Oh my god, the Heat lost? Is that why you're sad? No, Karen. If we had lost together as a team, I wouldn't be sad. I'd say, well, we tried. No, Karen, I'm sad because Jimmy Butler decided to choke the biggest, fattest, girthiest, veiniest dick. Oh, he did, Karen. He did it right there out in the court in front of God and everybody. They even caught it on video. You want to see? I warn you, it's pretty graphic, so shield your eyes. There's Jimmy Butler. We're down by one. He's right under the goal. We just need a two-pointer. And then all of a sudden he goes, here you go, other team. You take the ball. Maybe you'll know what to do with it. I just want to start choking on giant throbbing. Boy! Well, he did, Karen. You saw it. Boy, need that one play didn't cost them the whole game. No, you're right, Karen. It wasn't just that one play. It was also this one. See? We're down by three. We just need a three to tie it. I don't know why the fuck they put the ball in Jimmy's hands. He's been sucking all night. And then Jimmy says, maybe if I throw the ball as fast as I can in the general direction of the goal while I'm covered and there's somebody right in my face, I can get back to sucking throbbing, veiny, giant- Bonnie, cut it out! Well, Karen, you saw the footage! Bonnie, they always have next year! No, they don't, Karen. We weren't even supposed to be here this year. We just got lucky. But what about Himothy? Him! Himothy! Himothy! 
Timothy cost us the game. Hemi should have just stayed his ass on the bench. We were doing better without him. Pointy, you don't mean that. You love him. Loved. Past tense. I hate him now. But, Pointy, what about the back of your joys that you want to marry him? Yeah, well, now I want a divorce. Oh, <gasps> well, what did I do? From him, Karen. Pointy, I think you just need to go lie down. Yeah, I'm going to go lie down on the railroad tracks in front of a train so I get run over. Boy! I'm gonna go take a shower, because I've been wearing this garbage bag all night, and I probably smell like shit, because Jimmy was playing like uh, shit. Are you fucking kidding me, Jimmy? Boiny, you're gonna have to turn the water on if you're gonna take a shower. No, I don't. My tears will be the water. Boiny, it's just a game! Oh, that wasn't even a game. That was just hand the ball to the Denver Nuggets so they can score and win and get their rings while Jimmy claps for them and hands them their trophy, and don't forget he sucked them all off. Boiny, don't start that again, and take your jersey off. It's gonna get wet. I can't take it off. It's melted to my body from the heat of that giant steaming shit pile that Jimmy left out on the court. You know, I didn't even know he was that backed up. It's probably from all the coffee. What? Have I told you about the coffee yet? No, Bonnie! You're talking nonsense. Either get, take a shower or get out. Okay. Hey, Boiny, I know it'll make you feel better. Do you want to fool around? I'm going to explain the coffee thing. So Jimmy has his own coffee company called Big Face Coffee, and he wants to be the biggest coffee brand in the world. Well, that's not going to beat Starbucks, Boiny. I love them. Yeah, maybe he should focus on playing basketball. You know, because he's a basketball player. Maybe if you win a goddamn championship, people will want to drink your coffee, Jimmy. Imagine this. Imagine saying, hmm, I'm drinking NBA champion Jimmy Butler's coffee. Doesn't that sound better than I'm drinking NBA loser Jimmy Butler's coffee? You can't even beat nuggets, Jimmy. How you expect to beat frappuccinos pumpkin spice pumpkin spice with sweet bus okay boiny calm down let's just get some sleep god damn it jimmy get your priorities straight boiny no, no i'm just trying to do the math do the math here with me karen let me figure this out I don't want to do the math, Boiny. No, 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 we're gonna figure this out. Tell me why on game day, he would decide to play cards with his friends while drinking coffee instead of going down to the court at five o'clock in the morning and shooting some hoops. You know, that's Kobe shit, but not Jimmy Butler. No, he wants to drink as much coffee as he can so he can have big IBS shits during the game. Boiny, if you're not going to bed, leave the room because I'm tired. You know who's not tired? Jimmy Butler, because he's been drinking coffee all day and he didn't use up that energy on the court. So, hmm, I wonder where all that energy's going. Oh, I know. I bet he's gonna use all that energy to suck big, fat, girthy... Good night, Pointy! <sighs> Didn't try. What the fuck was that? I could do that. Pay me a hundred million dollars to throw a ball at a hoop and just hope and drink coffee and play cards with my buddies. Hey, Dad! Oh, no, don't look, Penelope. You're not old enough. Daddy's watching an adult movie. No, you're not. You're just watching basketball. No, I'm watching Naughty Coffee Barista takes on burly five-man basketball team. What are you talking about? Oh, you don't see what that grown man is doing to all the men on that other team? Um, missing a bunch of basketball shots? Oh, yeah, he's doing a lot of that, but where is his mouth? What? Well, you see, Penelope, when two basketball players love each other very much, they suck each other off, and Jimmy must love the Nuggets because he's the only one sucking. Ew, Dad! <sighs> go get me my lighter. What? Go get me my goddamn lighter and a pen and some lighter fluid. Why? Just go get it. Okay. <sighs> Here, Dad, why did you want all this stuff? I'm burning my jersey. Don't you think you're taking this basketball game a little too seriously? Hey, well, at least somebody's taking it seriously, because Jimmy sure didn't. He thought that was practice. He thinks the game's tomorrow. Is it? No, it was tonight, and they lost because Jimmy thought it was opposite day. He thought the team with the least points won. He thought he was playing golf. Oh, so he lost? Penelope, get the hell out of here. You're starting to piss me off. Fine. <sighs> I loved this jersey. But Jimmy doesn't love basketball. No, he loves coffee. So this is what happens to this jersey. I'm sure I put a lot of this on here. I want it to burn nice and good. <sighs> Goodbye, Jimmy. some heat showed up today. That's not funny, Boiny. You could have burned the house down. I didn't say it was funny. None of this is funny. Cut the crap, Boiny, and take your sad eyes off. Oh, I'm afraid the sad eyes are going to stay. For how long? For a very long time, until Jimmy Butler wins a championship. Boiny, that might never happen. Oh, it won't. Believe me, I know it won't. Boiny, why don't you become like a Brooklyn Nets fan? You know, because of your name, Brooklyn Tea Guy. Wait, you know my name? Then why do you always call me Boiny? I thought you didn't know my name. I don't call you Boiny, Boiny. I call you why don't you call me Brooklyn? Because that's my name. But I like calling you Boiny. It's a thing. 
Okay, well, I'm not going to be a Brooklyn Nets fan. Who am I going to root for? Seth Curry, the lesser of the Currys, the underachieving one. He's the brother of Steph Curry, and I guess if you say his name fast enough, it sounds like that. I think you got that wrong, Boiny. Stephanie's a girl's name. Well, look, I'm not going to be a Brooklyn Nets fan. Well, Boiny, why don't you go back to work? Get your mind off things. Yeah, there's an idea. Everybody should do what they're paid to do, because it's their job, and not just throw it all away so that they can make coffee. Have you even tried this coffee, Boiny? I don't know where the fuck to buy it. Miami? Oh, that would make sense. Well, maybe if he won a championship, people would know where to buy his coffee. <sighs> but yes, you're right. Maybe I'll try to go to work. Boyney, put your clothes on! Hey, nurse, what do you got for me? Chester Cheetah overdosed on Cheeto dust again. Oh, man, Chester. I think we should give him some Narcan and try to resuscitate him. Yeah, that sounds cool. Hey, could you check out this coffee I made in the break room? Doctor, I think we should focus on the patient. Yeah, you would think that we should probably do that because that's our jobs and that's what we get paid to do. But I want to try to start a coffee company. Doctor, I think we're losing him. Just try it real quick. Come on, take uh, a shot. It smells like a crappy cup of coffee. Do you think I could beat Starbucks? Doctor, I think we lost him. Oh. Well, never mind, then. How was your day at work, Boiny? Well, I did a better job than Jimmy. I only killed one person. He killed the hearts of every Miami Heat fan. You killed someone today, Boiny? Yeah, I tried the Jimmy method. I got to work and then started my own coffee company. What does that have to do with killing someone? What does it have to do with basketball? Aren't they supposed to drink Gatorade or some shit? You know, coffee's a diuretic. He was probably dehydrated as fuck. I've never seen after the Super Bowl people run up and dump a bunch of coffee on their coach and give them third-degree burns. Boiny, leave! Jimmy Butler alone. Oh, okay. I mean it, Boiny. What do you think he's doing right now? Not pouting like you. Yeah, of course not. He got paid a hundred million dollars just to drink coffee and give the ball to the other team. What? I'll get it. Are you gonna go get it, Boiny? Yeah. Go! Oh, I'm sorry. I was giving a Jimmy amount of effort. Ugh. Hello. Hello there. What did you? Jimmy Butler, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be in all the Denver Nuggets houses blowing them? Well, I came by to explain myself. Oh, good, because I was really wondering why the hell you played like dog shit tonight. Well, you see, the Denver Nuggets have never won a championship before. But see, the Miami Heat, we've won three. So I felt bad and I let them win. Well, that does explain why you passed the ball directly to the other team when we were only down by one. Yeah, I tried to hide that the best I could, but whoops. Whoops, yeah, yeah, whoops. Well, I mean, I guess I understand why you let him win, but did you really have to suck him off, too? Well, listen, see, I'll try harder next season, and I'll win it all. Okay, well, that is good to know. Yeah, you want to buy some coffee? I would not, but I actually really recommend that you take this and drink this instead on game day. Well, no, thank you. I like my coffee. Please, please take this. No, the coffee's good for me. No, I'm literally begging you, Jimmy. No, you hold on to that for me. Maybe practice next time? No, I'll see you next season. Okay, Jimmy, oh, he didn't take it. Mm. Who was at the door, Boiny? Oh, nobody. Just a coffee salesman. At this time of night? Yeah. Was it Jimmy Butler? It was Jimmy Butler, yeah. So, guys, what do you want to do today? Oh, dude, let's play video games. Oh, yeah, video games are sick. But what can we play that's four players? Uh, we could play Rocket League. Ugh, I don't want to play Rocket League. Every time we play that, we all just end up getting mad. We're not going to get mad because we're going to win. Yeah. yeah, and I'm going to be the goalie. Yeah, okay, Jimmy's goalie. Let's just go play. Come on, guys. Let's okay. do it. Uh, there's only 10 seconds left. No, Jimmy, you better block that. Jimmy, you better block that. Yeah. 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 Jimmy, block it! Oh, oh. Jimmy! No! Oh, no! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Jimmy. You lost us! Jimmy, so oh. You are right there! You, you just left us like on the ground! It's not! Oh, it's not! It's not! It's not! It's not! It's not! It's not! You're handicapped! You're handicapped! I'm going to the studio! What? What the hell are you talking about? The studio. Why? I cannot believe we lost that Rocket League match. Yeah, all Jeffy had to do was, was block, block the, the dang, dang ball. ball. Oh, I'm so mad. I let small things inconvenience my whole day. I know winning that video game wouldn't make me any happier, and I'm not even going to think about this when I'm 80 years old, but in that moment, it meant so much to me, and right now, I'm just so mad. Exactly, exactly. We're never going to win a Rocket League tournament with Jeffy sucking, sucking up. Yeah, sucking ass. Yeah, thank you, Joseph, sucking ass. Yes, thank you very much, Joseph. I was trying to find the words to figure out what would be the equivalent of sucking at a video game, and sucking ass is exactly it. Why choice of words, Joseph? Mm-hmm, thank you so much. 
I've been increasing my vocabulary. But yeah, Jeffy sucking ass at Rocket League really makes me angry. Yes, yes, yeah, it makes me very angry. Man, I don't know what he means he's going to the studio. What, what kind of studio is Jeffy going to? A not sucking at Rocket League studio? Yeah, like a soccer studio? Yeah, Universal Studios? I wish I could go to Universal Studios because then I wouldn't be so mad. But what, what, what I can't because I'm in Pensacola and that's like a seven hour drive away from Orlando and I can't even go anyway because we're just kids and we need a parent and we also don't have money, so that's also a problem. Yeah, but we would have money if we won a Rocket League championship, but we'll never win that because Jeffy sucks ass. Yeah, our goal is ass. Complete He's ass. ass. Completely. Yes, I'm very mad, but talking about this has helped a lot. Let's just watch TV, guys. Ugh, where's oh. the remote? Oh, now I can't find the God, remote. God, I'm so mad again. Jesus. I'm even oh, more I'm angry. I'm going to go look for it, but I am mad. I am so angry that we can't even find the remote. I think I found it. Who hit Why it? was it all the way over here? This is bullshit. I'm so Jesus. mad. So turn it on. on. Turn, turn the TV on. <laughs> Breaking news, MK! A random diss track was sent into our news station, and I listened to it and I thought it was pretty fire. I'm gonna play it for whoever it was targeted to so they can hear it. Some people say that I'm handicapped. I'm not handicapped, I'm retarded. Danny says I'll play too much. Cap piano used a bunch. Keys are sticky to the touch because I'll play after eating lunch. I rap everywhere I go, spit in front of all my hoes. All my dick she's doing blow, but not before I pick my nose. You guys think you made it far? Jeffy is your rising star. No for note and bar for bar, you can't keep up, you're not on par. I shit your heart on every song. Don't believe it, I'll prove you wrong. I bang your mom just like a gong. Pee pee poo poo, Johnny Slong. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I spank my dopper very hard. I spank, yeah, I spank my dopper very hard. Okay, yeah, I spank my dopper very hard. I spank, yeah, I spank, I spank my dopper very hard. I'm re re Target as fuck. Stole a chromie from my homie, now he quacks like a duck. And if you think you're just as re-re, then you're shit out of luck. And I go crazy on the beat till my pee pee gets stuck. I spank my dopper super hard, you cannot out retard. Pee pee short like Lord Farquaad, it's just me, there is no squad. You think that you are the best? I got hoes that have three breasts. Like the feeling on their chest, smells like fish with lobster fest. Got hoes coming to my nest, flocking in from east to west. Rapping's easy to stay in the test. Millions of fans, I'm feeling blessed. Junior Joseph Cody Fest. Watch as I secure the bag Not that I'm trying to brag But every bit has a Jeffy tag mm, Yeah, okay I wipe my booty back to front Smelling balls, yeah mm, I wipe my booty back to front Dirty tank, bitch mm, I wipe my booty back to front Shitty smelling balls I wipe my booty back to front Really? Yeah, I spank my dumper very hard I spank that yeah, bitch I wipe my booty back to front Smelling balls, yeah Yeah, I spank my dumper very hard I spank that yeah, bitch Oh! Oh, what is this? Just when I thought my day couldn't get any worse, a diss track has been dropped upon me. Did he try to flame our ass? Did he call us f***ing on the news? I'm straight as hell. I'm not, but that is a very hurtful word, and I can't believe they let him say that on TV. How'd he get the diss track on the news? It must be a very slow news day. But it's on the news, dude. It's ten times worse. We gotta diss him back. Yeah, yeah, we have to drop a diss track at him now because of him dissing us in front of everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah we must. Yeah, so we just need a studio to record that in. Oh, I know the perfect studio. My cousin Tukey got a studio. We should go and record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll go, we'll go to Tukey's house and record it, but like, he said he wipes back to front. Like, hey, that's not even bad. I do that. Well, what? Wait, really? Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. I thought only girls can't do that. Well, I, I don't think anybody should do that. Yeah, that's pretty close. He said he has a stinky tank. Yes, and he's dissing us. My taint is very clean. How dare he? Yeah, I think we should record the hardest, meanest, rawest, trappest, craziest diss track anyone's ever heard. Yes. Oh, we're gonna flame his ass, dude. Let's do it. Let's go record it. Ooh. Ooh, that shit was fire. Yeah, our diss track is hard. Yeah, it's very hard. It's so hard, it's like... It's like cake that's been left out because it's hard, because it's stale. N not that our diss is stale, our, our diss is fresh, it's very fresh, it's the freshest. It's like fresh cake that is also hard. Like, like ice cream cake that's still frozen. Yes, that's what our diss track is. Our diss track is ice cream cake that is still frozen. Mmm, great description, Cody. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah, everyone's gonna want to hear our ice cream cake verse diss track. Yes, yeah. everybody's gonna want a slice. Oh, yeah, okay, so how do we get our diss track to the news? Well, I'm assuming the news has some kind of submit your own diss track email, so I'll send it to that. I get the MP3 on my phone. Well, what about the music video? Oh, yeah, I also have the MP4 of that. You know what? I think I'll just send the MP4 because it is both audio and visual. Oh, yeah, definitely send that to them. I'll send that. Okay, it's sent. Your Wi-Fi is very good, Junior. I have the giga, the giga, the giga internet. That's very nice. The, the giga speed. Yeah, fiber optic. Yeah. That, that's what I was trying to say. That's good shit. Thank you, thank you. I'm just so angry I just couldn't get my words together. I understand. Look at the news! <laughs> News, okay? We just received a response to the diss track we aired earlier. This one I haven't heard yet, but let's listen to it to see if it's as fire as the first one. Perfect. Perfect. Junior gonna kill
kill this trap Told your mom to throw it back She gave me head, it was so whack Ate her booty like a snack Your helmet makes you look insane Pencil probably pokes your brain I do this shit, I make it rain Stay the fuck right in your lane Yeah you stuck it, Rocket League, bitch. Your mom gets railed while your dad's a cuck. You thought it's your time, well, you're out of luck. Good at Rocket League, you're dumb as fuck. You think that you're good when you really just suck. Speaking of suck, that's what I do. But even I don't suck harder than you. Your dick is a minion, so I'll just call you Gru. I'm tired of you now, so shoe fly shoe. Chew you ain't cold, he just flamed you. You better run, cause now you in danger. At your crib all the time, I'm no stranger. In your mom's guts, about to rearrange ya. BPD the way I switch, I make you my little bitch. Cry to dad, you stupid snitch. I own you like I'm rich, you rich. Tired Jeffy, no fatigue. Going psycho like I'm Creed. Go ahead, I'm so intrigued. That's why you ass at Rocket League. I'm playing you just like the Wii. You're latching on just like some fleas. What would make your dad happy? Throw you out and lock the count. I'm done being polite. Now I got you in my sight. About to see you to the light. Make your ass go nighty night. Ooh, that diss track was too fire, bro. Yeah, our diss track was tough. Yeah, it was tough. It was tough like a steak that's been overcooked, you know? It's, it's so chewy because it's all tough and hard to swallow. For Jeffy, for Jeffy it was hard to swallow. For us it was easy to swallow because our steak was well cooked. But his, his was overcooked and so that's why it was so hard to swallow because it was so tough. Yeah, yeah, our stuff is really tough. Yeah. It's toughed like a, like a hair on a cow's chin. I'm sorry, Junior? You like a tuft of hair? Oh, tuft. Yeah, that, that's a different word, but yeah, I think I see what you're saying. And, you know, I mean, I, I would have gone with goat, but that's okay. I, I bet a cow's chin is pretty tough, too. And cows are also where steak comes from, so it, it comes full circle. I think we're on the same page, yeah. Do you think Jeffy heard the diss track? I really hope so, because I don't think the news is going to play that again. And this is the only TV in the house, so if he wasn't watching it on his phone, which I don't know why he would do that, then he probably didn't see it. So you don't think he heard our diss track? Probably not. I think we should go ask Jeffy if he heard it. Yes, let's do that. Yeah, I, we need to know. Yeah, dude. Oh, Wally fuck. Hey, Jeffy. What do you guys want? We saw your dumb, stupid diss track on the news. Yeah, did you cry and piss your pants? Yeah. Good. Hey, Cody, do a Wally impression. I feel like your voice has a really good, like, accent for Wally. Oh, yeah, I do a really good one. Wally. Okay, well, I guess it wasn't as good as I thought. I mean, even if the Wally thing wasn't right here, I would still know what character you were trying to impersonate. Well, yeah, it's not that hard. He just says his own name with a robot voice. Oh. Well, anyway, Jeffy, we saw your stupid diss track, and we made a diss track at you. And it was fire. Yeah, it was fire. It was fire like a grill on high heat where you can see the flames. Yeah, yeah, that's how fire our diss track was. And you know what? I bet you could cook a steak on that grill. A steak that's really overcooked and tough. Like our diss track was tough. And then and then if you eat that for dessert, then you could have like a really hard, frozen, very fresh ice cream cake. Because that's how hard our diss track was. And also fresh. And also cake. Because it was so easy. And, and then after you get done eating that entire meal, then you could wash it down with a nice, refreshing glass of lemonade. But 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 not refreshing. It'd be like hot and it would burn your throat because it's because you wouldn't like it But we would like it, it would be lemonade to us, but not for you. He's saying our diss track is ice cold. Did you see it? It was on the news. No, I don't watch the news. Fuck. Well, Cody pull it up on your phone. Make him watch it. Yeah, I got the mp4 right here. Yeah, yeah watch our diss track. It's very it's very everything he said. Yeah, we're not gonna show the whole thing over again, but you know, use, use your imagination. Yeah, what do you think about that, Jeffy? I bet that hurt your feelings. Damn, he's crying now, guys. I feel kind of bad. Uh, I don't feel bad. He made us lose the damn game. Yeah, he did call his names in his song. Yeah, yeah, wait a minute. I'm mad again. He called me a slur. Wait, you said I was handicapped. Well, all you had to do was block the stupid ball. If we had a better goalie, we wouldn't have lost. Guys, guys, how about this? How about I'm goalie next time? I like taking balls in the face. I mean... Yeah, if Cody was the goalie, then we could yell at him if he messed up yeah. instead of Jeffy. Yeah, we could just quash this whole beef right now. Yeah, there's no more beef. We just, no more diss tracks. We just end this right here. Uh, nah, I'm taking this shit to the grave, dude. Uh, I would never be happy again. All right, guys, listen, no more sending diss tracks to the news. We all just say we're sorry, okay? Jeffy, you say you're sorry first. I'm sorry. All right. I think that's it. I think, I think yeah, we're Yeah, I think that covers it. Hold on! You guys didn't say sorry for calling me handicapped! Oh, uh... I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. And we say we said it. Yeah. Just... I'm not sorry. <laughs> okay, listen. Let's just go back and play some more Rocket League, okay? And Cody will be goalie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't think Joe's is playing, so it'll be 3v3. Yeah. Come on, Jeffy. Okay, 
My gingerbread men are done. <laughs> Junior and your stupid friends, come downstairs and make the gingerbread house. Oh man, guys, I can't wait to make a house for the gingerbread men. I don't like that we call them gingerbread men. I think we should call them gingerbread they thems. Oh, dude, don't be political. It's Christmas. If we're gonna do this, make Santa Claus black. My pronouns are she them. Let me she them titties. All right, everyone, grab a gingerbread man to make a house for. I want the one furthest away from me. Well, then grab it. <gasps> what? Yeah! Jeff, you're not supposed to buy its head off! Oh my god, you killed him! You murderer! Murderer? I didn't murder anybody. I just ate a cookie. Jeff, you're not supposed to eat gingerbread men. They're real people. Well, I didn't know that! Hey there, I got a call from a gingerbread man saying one of them was murdered. Oh my god, he's missing his head. It's so barbaric. Put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest. I didn't do anything! Order, 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 order. Order. I am the Honorable Judge Pobam, and today we will be hearing the case of Jeffy, who is being accused of eating a gingerbread man. It says here you beheaded him with your teeth. You are a monster. What do you have to say for yourself? I just ate the gingerbread man. I didn't know it was illegal. You didn't know cannibalism was illegal? It's a fucking cookie. It is not a cookie. It is a man. A gingerbread man. You're not supposed to eat gingerbread men. You're supposed to build them a nice little house and let them live happily ever after. Everybody knows this. We will now hear from a gingerbread man who witnessed this awful crime. Tell me, sir, what happened? Okay, I'll tell you. Do you know the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man? The Muffin Man. Yes, I know the Muffin Man. The one who lives on Drury Lane. Well, she's married to the Muffin Man. The Muffin Man? The Muffin Man! She's married to the Muffin Man? What does this have to do with the case? Tell me what happened to your brother. Eat me! What? No spitting in my courtroom. Just tell me what happened. He bit his head off! I've heard enough! Jeffy, this is not the first time I've seen you in my courtroom. You are a repeat offender and you need to learn how to be a good person. So I sentence you to be an elf in Santa's workshop for one day! An elf?! Hey, Danny, I got arrested again. Jeffy, how many times are you gonna get arrested in your life? 17. Officer, what do you do this time? His worst crime yet. He bit the head off a gingerbread man. <gasps> Jeffy, how could you? How is that a crime? Well, gingerbread men are real people. They have rights. Don't you remember in the Constitution when they passed it to give the gingerbread men rights? They still can't compete in the Olympics, though. They run too fast. You know, run, run as fast as they can. You can't catch them. They're the gingerbread men. That does not make any sense. Cookies don't deserve rights. Whoa, okay. I didn't know we were living in the 1800s over here. Marvin, I I didn't know you were a foodist. Yeah, I bet you still eat Teddy Grahams even though they're endangered. You're only supposed to eat them during Teddy Graham season. So Jeffy's going to jail. Oh no, he's going somewhere much worse than jail. He's gonna go be an elf up in Santa's workshop. All the way up in the North Pole? Yeah, we gotta hop on like a 36 hour flight up there with a layover in Charlotte. God, I hate the Charlotte airport. My flight always gets canceled and I get put on standby and then I get seated next to some fat sack of shit with a breathing problem like, <gasps> like what, you didn't bring your CPAP machine? And they don't even have screens on the back of the seats anymore. No, you gotta watch the movie on your phone, but the Wi-Fi sucks dick, so the movie won't load, and the only movie they have is Meet Dave. God, I'm so tired of Meet Dave. I've met Dave. I did not like Dave. I am not a fan of Dave. I I'm sorry. I I'm just rambling. Come on, Jeffy. We gotta go. Wait, does anybody have a neck pillow? No. Okay. I guess I'll just suffer from spinal meningitis. Come on, Jeffy. All right, kid, welcome to Santa's workshop. I'll be back to pick you up in a day, but if I find out you've been naughty, you're going straight to prison. Okay. Hey there, newbie. I'm the head elf around here. What's your name? Twinkle Toes. Hey, Twinkle Toes. My name is Pepper, and her name is Mint. Hi. And that's Orda. Hello. And she's Mint, and my name is Pepper, and over there is Rody. All of our names add up to a word, you get it? Yes. Okay, so we make all the toys for all the good little boys and girls, which is really ironic because I'm not allowed within a thousand feet of a playground. I'm a registered one of these. But that's okay, because this is pretty cool. He comes with a whole bunch of accessories. They should just put me in the box. Hey, Pepper, we're all out of the Mr. Potato Head pieces. All we have are the Mrs. Potato Head pieces. Fuck it, just put it in the box. Christmas is in a few weeks. Just make sure Santa doesn't find out. So what do what do I make? Well, your first job is to figure out where the hell the Incredible Hulk's head is. We lost it a few weeks ago, and we can't give it away looking like this. Ho! 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 
I wasn't going out. Oh no, Santa's drunk again. We only have two weeks until Christmas. So are we on schedule? Uh, we're a little behind, Santa. Oh, that's okay. I, I don't care as long as the product looks good. L let's check out this Mr. Potato Head. Please don't. Ho, ho, ho. What shit is this, huh? It's a Mrs. Potato Head in the Mr. Potato Head box. Oh, wow. Very creative. Way to use your brain. You know what? Let me see yours. Holy shit, he shot him. That's right. Santa's crazy. And Santa will blow out every single one of your brains if the next time I come here to check there's not Mr. Potato Head Pots in the Mr. Potato Head Box. And I swear to God, if someone doesn't find the head to the Incredible Hulk, Santa is gonna lose it. Now Santa is gonna go take a really big stinky dump. And when he gets back, one of his elves is gonna suck his candy cane. Yep. Well, I mean, good luck, boys. <laughs> you got this one, Pepper. I went crazy on it yesterday. Aw, oh, man, I did it all last week. Well, newbie, looks like you're sucking Santa's candy cane. It's just a candy cane. It can't be that bad. Uh, it's actually stick. Oh, hell no! We gotta get out of here! We can't. This place is locked out tighter than the Pentagon. Well, there's gotta be some way to leave. The only way out is Santa's back, but he'll know if you touch it and he'll kill you. All right, well, if we can get out of here and make it to my house, you guys will be safe. Really? Yes. Okay, I'll show you Santa's bag. Okay, there's Santa's bag. If you get in, it'll take you anywhere you want to go. That's how he delivers presents so fast. All right, well, let's get out of here. We should get in one at a time. We don't want to get in all at once and fuse together. Hey, get away from my bag! You elves, get back over here! Somebody's gonna suck it! Oh no, Santa's coming! Quick, Twinkle Toes, get in the bag! <laughs> oh no, it's not working! Oh, I forgot it runs on Christmas spirit. Everybody starts singing! No, there's not enough time. I'll stall Santa. I'll go crazy on it. Order now! Remember me forever, Pepper. He's so brave. Okay, we, we wish you a Merry Christmas! We wish you a Merry Christmas! We wish. Look like it's my turn. Kill me! <sighs> I hope Jeffy's making a bunch of toys for all the good boys and girls out there. Jeffy, where'd you come from? The North Pole. Aren't you supposed to be working there in Santa's workshop? Yeah, but Santa Claus was going to make me suck his candy cane or he was going to shoot me in the head. What? Oh, uh, that's not really Santa. That's his evil brother, Kringle. He just makes us call him Santa. So where's the real Santa? Oh, he's on vacation in the Bahamas. He only comes back to the North Pole on Christmas Eve to deliver presents. Kringle runs the North Pole the rest of the time, and he does terrible things. Thanks to us. So what's your name? My name is Pepper, and if my friends were here, it would be hilarious, but I'm pretty sure they're all dead. Except for maybe Orna. If I know him, he's going crazy on it. Well, you're safe here. Kringle will never find you. Oh, no, he'll find me. He's got a tracker in my ass. I'm his best elf. He should be here any minute. Oh, oh no, that must be him. Please don't let him get me. Oh, yeah, and since I'm in your house, I have to inform you that I'm a registered predator. But only for being on the side of a school during school hours on a kid. Okay, I'm gonna go answer the door. Don't worry about anything. Hello? What? Goodman? Hey, Marvin. Sorry, I thought you were gonna be Santa Claus. I, I, I'm not Santa Claus, but I have a big sack, and I sure ho-ho hope you have your house payment. Oh, no, I don't have my house payment. I mean, it's the holidays. Can you give me this month off? No, because I have six side bitches I have to buy presents for. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in your house, and if I see one single Christmas present, I'm taking it. Because if you have money for presents, you have money to pay your bills. What the, uh, oh. Now, where are those presents at? Daddy. What the fuck? Why is Pepper here? You know Pepper? Yeah, he's my 23-year-old degenerate son that I did disowned because he decided to ruin his life by getting arrested for peeing on a school. On a kid. It was an accident. You just didn't see the kid or... It splashed. So he's your son? Not anymore! I disowned him! Can I come home? No! Go back to the North Pole and make toys or some shit! Marvin, why'd you invite me over here? I didn't. You came for my house payment. Well, you don't owe me one. You can just keep Pepper. I don't want to keep Pepper. Well, I'm leaving! No, Daddy! Don't call me that, you creepy fuck. Aww. <laughs> Oh no, he found me! There you are, Pepper! You're 
coming home with me. Somebody hide me. If any of you in a fizz, I'll blow all your brains out. You can take them. Okay. No. I got a big old candy cane waiting for you at home, Pepper. Oh, okay. <laughs> No one feels bad about not helping him, right? No. Mm -mm. <sighs> Hold on, my phone's ringing. Hello? Hey, Marvin, I just want to let you know I'm on my way to the North Pole to get your son, but I got stuck in Charlotte again and my flight got canceled, God damn it! The AC's broken. It's like 100 degrees in here. Hey, Jeffy. Huh? Can you blow me? I ain't know what? Like with a fan. Oh, you should just send that, Daddy. Oh, that feels so good. Hey, I want some. Oh, so much better. Jeffy, blow me again. Stop saying that, Daddy. It's weird. Hey, no, come back. Mommy, look. It's hot in here. You should probably just take your clothes off. Well, ew, Jeffy. She's your mother. Stepmother, and I've seen plenty of videos where stepsons eat their stepmom's fish biscuit. What? Jeffy, that's gross. Get out of here. All right. Marvin, you need to call an AC repairman. But that's going to cost money. But it'll be worth it. Okay, I'll call one and see if he can do it cheap. Hey there, thanks for calling Expensive AC Repair Services. Marvin, you called Expensive AC Repair Services? Well, I tried calling Super Cheap AC Repair Services, but they didn't answer. Yeah, I never answer that phone. What? Anyway, what's the problem? Well, our AC is broken, I think. Oh, that sounds expensive. Yeah, I guess I can get my ladder out and go look at it, but it's gonna cost you. How much? How much you got? Baby, how much do I have in my wallet? Uh... Um, about $94. Oh, that's crazy, because that's exactly how much I charge to get my ladder out and look at your AC unit. Okay, here you go. Ooh, it is hot in here. This cash is cool. <laughs> okay, yeah, uh, let me go get my ladder and I'll take a look at it. Okay, time to figure out what's wrong with the AC so I can charge them more money. Okay, let's see what's wrong with this AC. What? Haunted toys do not touch. Okay, not touching that. Let's see here. Oh. Well, the AC's not broken. It just got turned off. All I have to do is turn it on. But then I can't charge them a bunch of money. <laughs> okay, I know. I'll go downstairs and tell them that the whole AC unit is completely destroyed and that it's going to be really expensive to fix, and then I'll come back up here, just play on my phone for like an hour, and then turn it on and tell them I fixed it. <laughs> yeah! Oh, man. It is, it is just a train wreck up there. So it's broken? Oh, broken's not even the right word. I would say destroyed, demolished, pillaged, savaged, desolated even. So it's broken? Yeah, it's broken, yeah. What happened to it? Oh, I can't even imagine what could have caused such destruction. Was your house struck by lightning and a tornado a hundred times? I don't think so. Well, I mean, it is on fire. What fire? Yeah, and it's flooding at the same time. I don't even know how. It's crazy. Flooding with what? W with shit from the sewer, because I guess your sewer got mixed up, so whenever you flush the Toilet shit comes out of your AC. Oh, oh, well, can I go up there and look? No, 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 don't do that, because it's also spraying asbestos and, and carbon monoxide. It's very dangerous. Well, okay, well, then how are you going up there? I, I had a hazmat suit, but I took it off because it was itchy from all the asbestos. Well, can you fix it? Oh, I can, but it's going to be really expensive. Like how much? Oh, like, like $5,000 cash. We don't have $5,000 cash. Well, I guess I could do it for $3,000 cash. I don't think we have $3,000 either. Well, how much cash do you have? Baby, how much cash do we have if you went in your purse and, like, checked the safe in the room? Um, maybe, like, $500? Well, I guess I could do it for $500 cash, as long as it was cash. Wait, how can you go from $5,000 to $500? Well, I just feel so bad, because you're living with a hazard. You know, it's dangerous, so I gotta take care of it. So, yeah, I'll do it for $500, as long as it's cash. Well, baby, get the money. Okay. Yeah, thank you for doing this for us. Here you go. No problem. Yeah, okay, yeah, this is great. Okay, so I'm gonna go work on that. Just don't check on me, okay? It's very, very dangerous. Uh, by the way, do you have a phone charger? What do you need a phone charger for? Uh, my phone's dying, and I really wanted to listen to some tunes while I work. You know, that's what I call Music 86. It's too much trouble to go find new music, so I let them bring the music to me, you know? That's what they call music. That's what I call music. That's what I always say. Okay, I'm gonna go get to work. Just don't come up there, okay? It's too dangerous. Oh, what is that? It's a stairway leading right to the attic. I bet my daddy's hiding my Christmas presents up there. I'm gonna go check it out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it's snowing up here? The North Pole's in my attic? Santa Claus lives in my attic? Wow, I can't believe I'm in Santa's workshop. <gasps> Haunted toys do not touch. These must be special toys that Santa Claus made that he doesn't want anyone to play with. Well, I'm gonna go play with them. Alright, let's check out these haunted toys. Buzz Lightyear, let's see if he can fly. 
Woody was right. He's not even a flying toy. All right, let's see what else we got in here. Oh, wait, this thing. Interesting. All right. Ooh, an ABC board? It'll help me learn my ABCs. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Oh, and what is this? Looks like a magnifying glass so I can see the letters better. <gasps> and it says yes or no? Maybe I can ask it a question and it'll tell me. Um, ABC board, am I going to get fat hoes? <gasps> it said yes! Yay, I'm going to get fat hoes! Thank you, ABC board. You're welcome. What? What was that? Now open your mouth. Open my mouth? Why? Just do it. Okay. Uh... <gasps> Marvin, it's so hot up here. Can we go downstairs? But baby, the AC's broken. It's gonna be hot everywhere. But it's hotter upstairs because heat rises. Well, if heat rises, then my wiener has heat. What? It, it rises when I see... Whatever, let's just go downstairs and make some dinner. Okay. All right, baby, for dinner, me and you are gonna have a mashed potato bowl. Ooh, yum! And Jeffy's gonna eat green beans. Jeffy, dinner's ready! What do you want, old man? <laughs> Jeffy, did you call yourself green with a sharpie? No, I've been possessed by a demon. <laughs> okay, demon, eat your green beans. How about I just piss? <laughs> Jeffy, stop peeing! What's wrong, old man? You don't like piss? Stop it, Jeffy! Marvin, why is Jeffy in a dress? You're worried about the dress and not the pee! Oh, okay, good. He, he's stopping. <laughs> just kidding, more piss! Jeffy, stop peeing on the table! You're, you're peeing everywhere! Oh, I'm sorry. Am I pissing you off? Jeffy, stop it! All right, I'm done. Jeffy, just go to your room. All right. Oh, my God. He, he peed all over the table, baby. What, what is wrong with him? It's disgusting! <laughs> Jeffy, you are so grounded! <laughs> he got the <throw> up! <laughs> He's a doctor. Let's go get him. <laughs> Die, pigs. Hey. Hey, hey. What? How did you get up here? Wait, uh, are you playing Angry Birds? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I just, I just finished fixing your AC. I, I did. I also killed those pigs. You got. You got three stars. Well, thank you. Yeah, I did. I did. But was my AC even broken? Oh yeah, it was super broken. I just fixed it. That's that's why I have this screwdriver here. You see, because it was it was this screw. It was loose, and that that's what caused the whole thing. You know. So one screw being loose caused it to flood and catch on fire. Oh yeah, you'd you'd be surprised what a screw can do. <laughs> it can really screw things up. You get it? That's an AC repairman joke. You probably don't get it. Well, like, you're a doctor, right? Yeah. Oh, well, my son's really sick. Can you come check him out? How much cash you got? I don't got any more cash, but do me a favor. Yeah, I guess you're right. I've screwed you over enough today. <laughs> that was another one. Come on. Okay. Okay, my son's in here. Well, I put my doctor outfit on. I put down towels because of the throw up. Ew, he's throwing up? Yeah, look at him. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Well, why is his head spinning around like that? Well, he's not sick, you guys. He's possessed. But possessed? Yeah, by a demon. Well, so what do we do? Well, you call an exorcist. Wait, isn't he an exorcist? No, no, no. He needs an exorcist. See, an exorcist performs an exorcism to exorcise a demon. Okay, so I call an exorcist. Yeah. Okay, uh, do you think there's anyone around here? Hmm, try Googling expensive exorcist. Okay, I'll see if there's a cheap one. Okay, I found a phone number for a place called Cheap Exorcism Services. Oh, I, I wouldn't call them. Shh, it's ringing. Uh, that, that's, that's probably my mom calling. I don't answer her. Well, it's kind of weird that while I'm calling this number, your phone's ringing. I mean, it is a coincidence, but if you think about it, there's 13.5 billion phone calls happening in the world every day, so it's not that much of a coincidence that my phone would be ringing while you're calling somebody. 13.5 billion phone calls? Yeah, it's true. Look it up. It's gonna go to voicemail. Thank you for calling Cheap Exorcism Services. Since we didn't answer our phone, maybe you should try calling Expensive Exorcism Services. They always answer their phone. <sighs> What'd it say? It said to call Expensive Exorcism Services. Yeah, you should do that. Okay, I'm calling them. Oh, hey, my phone's ringing. Oh, I wonder who that could be. Hello, Expensive Exorcism Services. Oh, wait, that's me. And yes, I will do your exorcism for you. How much cash you got? Wait, just go get your outfit. Okay. Okay, I got my outfit on. Screw you, screw you, screw you. Ah. Ow. No throwing toy arms. <laughs> no throwing demon arms either. Father, help him. Yeah, help me, daddy. Hold on, I got some holy water over here. I mean, it's just Fiji water, but holy cow, is it good. The power of Christ compels you! The power of Christ compels you!
now dead. No, that, that's from Wizard of Oz. Nice try. <laughs> Look, the holy water's not working, but I've seen the movie. I know what to do. Hey, demon, possess me instead. Open your mouth. Okay. Uh, <laughs> possess Buzz Lightyear. Ha, I trapped him in this Buzz Lightyear toy. I am Mrs. Nesbitt. Now, I, now all I have to do is throw him down the stairs to kill him. Take this, Demon Lightyear, to infinity and hell! <laughs> I am Buzz Lightyear. Okay, I threw Buzz Lightyear down the stairs. As long as nobody touches him, we'll be fine. Jeffy, are you okay? Oh, my head hurts. Yeah, that's a side effect of being possessed by a demon. I was possessed by a demon? Yeah, but I took care of it. So where's the cash? Give me a thousand dollars. It's not called expensive exorcism services for no reason. We don't have a thousand dollars. Oh yeah? Well, guess what? Your AC wasn't even broken. It was just turned off. All I did was turn it on and then play Angry Birds on my phone. So, eh. <sighs> Jeffy, how are you feeling? Who wants to watch me piss? <sighs>